so there's been a couple of questions about ideas like um, what does it mean for sine of theta to equal one or what does it mean for cosine of theta to equal one like what sort of angle would theta be if that were the case so let's dig into this idea um, first off let's think about just a, a 30 60 90 triangle so I know that if I had this is 30 degrees this is 60 degrees um, and this is one inside my unit circle I know that um, this side length the side length that's opposite the 30 is one half and I know the side length that's opposite the 60 would be root 3 over 2 and so notice that sine we can we can use this to find things like sine of, of 30 degrees so sine of 30 degrees is one way to think about it is opposite over hypotenuse which would be uh, one half divided by one <laughs> one looks like this so, uh, over one and anything divided by one is just itself so that'd be a half and notice that cosine um, of 30 degrees cosine one way to think about cosine is it's adjacent over hypotenuse uh, root 3 over 2 over 1, which is root 3 over 2. So we, we know that. Um, so let's build on that idea. So sine, we can come at it from this a triangle idea where it's opposite um, over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is 1, so we can just say sine is basically the opposite side. And notice that the opposite side, the side opposite our angle, is always our y part, right? This This point right here, it goes over that x amount. You know, it's a point x, y in space. It goes over that x account, x account, so root 3 over 2, and up that y amount, 1 half. So that means that sine is our opposite side, which is just the y value of that terminating point, that 1 half. So another way, we have been saying um, sine of some angle is opposite over hypotenuse. If our, we could say y over the hypotenuse. And if the hypotenuse equals 1, like it does in the unit circle, we say that's okay. Sine theta is just the y value. Similarly, cosine, we usually say cosine, I um, mean, erase some of this stuff. We, we think of cosine as opposite over hypotenuse. I'm sorry, adjacent over hypotenuse. So uh, cosine of theta, we think about it as adjacent over hypotenuse. And notice this adjacent side, that's just the x value. It goes over that amount. All right, so we could say that cosine is just x over that hypotenuse. And when the hypotenuse is just 1, it's just x. So our sine value in the unit circle is y, is the y value. Our cos sine is the x value. So if we step away from the angle for a second, and we just think of it, oh, I didn't want to undo my circle. Oop. Step away from the angle. And we just think about some points. So like, let's think about this point right here. This is the point 0, 1. It goes over 0, up 1. Um, so x is 0, y is 1. So um, notice that's 90 degrees. So I could say sine of 90 degrees is uh, it's y over the hypotenuse. It's 1 over the hypotenuse. So it's just 1. So it's just 1. Um, and the cosine of 90 degrees, then, would be x over the hypotenuse, which is just 0. So if you think about that as a triangle, we have this degenerate triangle that has, um, like, 0 in the x direction. But then the height and the, the, height and the hypotenuse are both 1. I mean, it doesn't make sense as a triangle, but what we're doing is we're expanding this meaning of these. So um, in order for sine to spit out 1, theta must be 90 degrees. And notice in, in order for cosine to spit out 1, the x value must be 1. And that only happens here at this point, 1, 0, which we could say is 360 degrees, or we could also say it's 0 degrees. So let's say theta here must be 0 in order to make x 1. All right, I hope that clears that one up. 